First, what is attraction? Attraction are a core component of tourism. They are often called tourist attractions because they tend to attract tourists. Attractions are the places and people, events and things that make up the objects of the tourist gaze and attract tourists to destinations. So after we discuss the definition of attraction, we're going to proceed to the six steps of attractions. The six types of attractions are natural, man-made, historical, cultural, special interest, and festivals. In our first list, we have the natural attraction. So natural attractions means a publicly or privately owned natural or naturalized place, arsenic, or natural importance as designated by the state, country, municipality in which it is located. Mount Mayon Volcano Mount Mayon Volcano is a landmark of Albay Province and a major tourist spot. It is the most iconic because of its perfect cone shape with a majestic view. In the Bicol dialect, it is called Bulkang Magayon which means beautiful volcano in English. It was named after the legendary heroine Daragang Magayon or beautiful lady which is more than appropriate to describe how stunning this natural scenery is. Mayon is an active volcano in Bicol region in the Philippines. Aside from its breathtaking view, Mount Mayon is one of the most exciting mountains to climb in the Philippines. The Inatuan Enchanted River The Inatuan Enchanted River is a natural attraction in Mindanao, Philippines. It is located in Surigao del Sur. The stunning clear blue water surrounded by palm trees and its beautiful rock structure make it a remarkable natural phenomenon. The water tastes salty when rivers were supposed to be composed of fresh water with thousands of fish and other species and one of the most unique features of the Enchanted River is incredible depth. Chocolate Hills. The Chocolate Hills in Bohol is a famed tourist attraction in the Philippines, which continues to draw attention for its unique characteristics. It may look artificial, but it is not. The Chocolate Hills in Bohol is another magical natural wonder in the Philippines that will make you appreciate the genuine concept of nature's beauty. The hills look chocolate only during dry season when the grass withers and turns brown and look like a giant chocolate kisses. Problem of natural The first thing problem of natural is the water. Particularly, fresh water is one of the most valuable natural resources. Water resources are typically overutilized for hotels, swimming pools, golf courses, and person usage. That can lead to water shortage and deterioration of water sources as well as increased wastewater production. Second problem of, na of our natural is air pollution and noise. As a natural, it accounts for a significant portion of air emissions. According to one research, a single transatlantic return trip releases about half the CO2 or carbon dioxide emissions produced by all other sources such as lighting, heating, automobile usage, and etc used by an average person each year. Acid rain is connected to transportation emissions as well as emissions from energy generation and usage. Climate change and photochemical pollution, polluted air from tourist vehicles has worldwide implications. Specifically, carbon dioxide or CO2 emission from transportation energy consumption and it has potential to add to two significant local air pollution some of these effects are unique to tourist activity 
As an example, tour buses frequently keep their engines running for hours, especially extremely hot or cold locations. Tourists embark on execution in order to return to the luxury of air-conditioned bus, airplanes, cars, and buses as well as recreational vehicles such as snowmobiles contribute noise pollution and jet skis is a modern day issue aside from causing discomfort tension and even hearing loss it causes animal suffering particularly in sensitive location while well, third is solid waste and littering waste disposal is particularly important in places with a high concentration of tourist activities and appealing natural assets is a severe issue and an incorrect disposal may be a huge detriment to the natural environment, rivers and lakes. Roadsides and beautiful location, solid waste and littering can harm the physical appearance of the environment. Water and beach resulting in the morality of marine resources. Next thing is sewage. Construction of hotels, leisure centers, and other amenities frequently result in increased sewage contamination. Wastewater pollutes the oceans and lakes that surround tourist destinations causing harm to the flora and wildlife. Sewage discharge can significant harm to coral reefs because it includes the high concentration of nutrients and support the growth of algae. Agal development, which covers filter feeding corals and impair the capacity to leave variation in the effects of salinity and transparency on coastal habitats can be far-reaching. In addition, sewage contamination can endanger both human and animal health. Solution Ecotourism is a rising segment of tourism that focuses on safeguarding the environment and keeping it as natural as possible without upsetting or destroying ecosystem. Ecotourism is also known as sustainable tourism at times. As a result, it strongly pulls from the ideas of reducing social, physical, psychological, and behavioral consequences. In other words, ecotourism comprises responsible travel to natural regions, conservation of the environment, and maintenance of local people's well-being through education interpretation of local social, environmental, and political issues. Ecotourism occurs when tourists, visitors, and residents are socially responsible and emotionally caring about the environment. Nature and cultures of the site, sites visited according to how it has been accepted in modern times. It typically seeks to avoid things like trash, interfering with the natural existence of flora and animals, destroying the places visited, and making the lives of the local worse. Next attraction is man-made attraction. These are defined as the creation of humans with a motive to leave lasting mark in the world. Since the ancient times, several influential or non-influential people had a common of dream of achieving immortality. San Juanico Bridge San Juan Eco Bridge is constructed from 1969 to 1973. It connects the provinces of Leyte and Samar. San Juan Eco is the longest bridge in the Philippines and has unique man-made attractions. It was completed around 45 years ago 
under the order of former Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos, which he further gifted to his wife, Imelda. It forms a connecting link between the provinces of Samar and Leyte. It also attracted tourists because of the beautiful view. Bangi Windmills The Bangi Windmills wind farm is the largest in Southeast Asia and sells power. Ilocos Norte Electric Cooperative or INEC. The expected lifespan of the wind generation equipment is 21 years. The farm accounts for approximately 50% of the power of generation in Ilocos Norte. The farm beholds many views waiting to be shot into stunning photographs for travelers. Also, if you are stopping from the long journey, there are many cafes nearby where you can buy a cup of coffee and a snack. They get regular and fresh winds. Divisoria Market Bisoya Market is located in Metro Manila where you will discover overflowing vendor stalls selling everything from fruit and spices to flip-flops and beads. The Bisoya Market is one of the oldest market in Manila which offers a low price goods. The place has everything you can think of buying from clothes to food to household items. The market also famous for its retail and wholesale shops. Problems and challenges of money. In the short time, it has been here. The human race has brought excessive and unjustifiable destruction on the planet, on its ecosystem, and on its life forms. Unsurprisingly, we now face problems that are threatened our existence, including pollution and degradation of our air, water, land, and all life forms overpopulation, human, and species extinction, non-human. Climate change, global warming, destructive weather, anytime, anywhere, economic, financial, and social extremism, obesity, drug abuse, and disease epidemics. The second of the topic is man-made solution. Trisha mentioned that in the short time it has been here, the human race has brought excessive and unjustifiable destruction in the planet. On its ecosystem, on its life forms, unsurprisingly, we now face problems that threaten our existence, including pollution and degradation of our air, water, and land, and all life forms of our populations. Humans and species extinction, non-human climate change, global warming, destructive weather, anytime or anywhere. Economic, financial, and social extremism, obesity, drug abuse, and disease, epidemics fragmented, trivial lives, and, and stress um, societies. And the most significant solution about this is approximated human drivers of global change are those that have the potential to dramatically modify aspects of the global environment that are of concern to mankind. The Earth's radiative um, balance, the number of living species, and the influx of ultraviolet. Radiation to the Earth's surface are the global environmental parameters that are currently of greatest concern. However, the attributes of concern to humans are likely to change in the future. Ultraviolet um, radiation, for example, has been a global issue since the 1960s as a result. Is it Researchers require a comprehensive system. Historical is something that provides evidence to the facts of history or is based on people and events of what happened back then. Historical attractions are attractions that are old and have been in place for many years. These include castles, famous walls, ruins, towers, monuments, religious buildings, houses, and palaces. Attractions like these are in place so that people can gain an appreciation and knowledge in the past. Sample of historical attraction in the Philippines is Intramuros. Why is Intramuros is famous? Intramuros plays an important part to our country's history 
and it is one of the popular destination for a visitor to our hometown. It is the oldest district and it's called Walled City. Historically, it is the seat of the Spanish government when they colonized the Philippines. Intramuros or the Walled City is one of the oldest districts of Manila built on the south bank of the Pasig River around 1571. It was built by the Spaniards, more specifically by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, and is bound on all sides by moats and thick high walls with some over 6 meters high. Calle Cruzol de Govigan is also the example of historical attraction. It is one of the best preserved heritage sites in Vigan. Cayo Cristal de Gov boasts a unique atmosphere that would take you back in time. Heritage houses built centuries ago line up both sides of the street, depicting Spanish influence architecture preserved for several centuries. And with the site close to vehicles, tourists can fully enjoy Cayo Cristal de Gov's cobblestone street. Unknown to many, before the name Kai Crisologo Street, it was called Kai Escolta de Vigan. Upon the discovery of the town by Juan de Salcedo in 1572, the street served as the commercial hub in the entire northern Luzon and was established even before the Galleon trade. Challenges and problems in historical. First, the destruction of historic buildings. Due to the decay of the buildings as they age, destruction or decay is one of the serious sufferings of the different historic buildings. Some of the buildings started collapsing due to the severe climatic conditions. Second, the endangered sites usually happen when some historic sites are too old and can't longer stand due to the fragile construction or materials that are used. Third, Gradual destructions of the monument may be also deliberately destroyed because of ignorance and lack of appreciation of the value of the heritage, particularly as a result of changes of architectural fashions and concepts of beauty. Lastly, by lacking of protections to some sites are being abandoned by the, ta by the caretaker of the site due to the tourists don't come much often that's why they are just living the things that should be prevented and protected because of their memoir on the past that cannot be retried as of today. So here are the possible solutions for historical distraction problems or challenges. First is to hire a security to guard the place or a person who can take care of the attraction. Second is to renovate some of the facility. Since it's old, it may cause injury to the tourist. Third is to advertise the place. And last is to update the sites or the information about the historical place. Cultural attraction is a type of tourism activity in which the visitor's essential motivation is to learn, discover, experience, and consume the tangible and intangible cultural attractions 
in tourism destination. These attractions relate to the set of distinctive material, intellectual, spiritual, and emotional features of a society that encompasses arts and architecture, culinary heritage, literature, music, creative industries, and living culture with their lifestyle, value systems, beliefs, and traditions. It's a subset of tourism concerned with the country's culture, especially the lifestyle of the people. The examples of cultural attraction are Manila Cathedral, Tawis Temple, and Casagua Ruins. Manila Cathedral. version of the long-standing Church of Manila. Built from 1954 to 1958 under the supervision of Filipino architect Fernando H. Ocampo. Every detailed wall carving, door, panel, portal, and even its attractive stained glass has its own story. The cathedral serves both as the prime basilica of the Philippines and the highest seat of the Archbishop in the country. The second example is the Taoist Temple. by the Cebu Substantial Chinese Community. It is located in a private subdivision, the Beverly Hills Subdivision in Lahog, Cebu City. The Taoist Temple is the center of worship for Taoism, the religion which follows the teachings of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu. In the temple, devotees perform rituals. The temple includes a chapel, library, souvenir shop, and a wishing well. It also has a spacious balcony that has an access to the scenic of the city. The last example for cultural attraction is the Casagua Ruins in Daraga Albay. <laughs> The Baroque Church of Casagua was built by Franciscan friars during the Hispanic occupation of the Philippines in around 1724 to replace an earlier church that had been burned down by Dutch pirates. It is symbolic of the dangers of living in close proximity to the Mayan volcano. The Casagua Ruins Park is now one of the most popular tourist destinations in Albay province. 
It is also the site of the Casagua branch of the National Museum of the Philippines. This museum contains photographs of the volcanic eruptions of Mount Mayon as well as other geological and archaeological exhibits. The challenges are a problem of cultural attraction with a growing international interest in heritage, growth in cultural tourism has increased the public and politicians' positive view of cultural resources, as well as develop a wide range of expectations for the impacts of cultural attraction. Cultural attraction is seen both as a way of providing necessary financing to rehabilitate and interpret heritage resources, as well as tool for creating economic development. The challenge for communities and heritage sites is to provide a unique, special, and participatory tourist experience that will bring it jobs and economic development in terms of investment in a range of initiatives. The challenge is further complicated by the end to preserve the character of the community and its cultural resources. Offer an authentic experience, respect the social, cultural way of life, of the host community all the while ensuring a sustainable and authenticity the tourist product. So now we're going to discuss what are the solutions on cultural tourism. First and foremost, we should know what are the effects of culture to different people. And we should know what is the definition of culture. Culture is defined as the set of practices and values in their beliefs and religion and specific community. Now, having a knowledge of a culture from another country is very important so that we know what and how they behave in that specific place. So this means lack of understanding and inability to communicate within the community will have a negative impact and sometimes can cause a tourist of what we call a culture shock. Now, to be a participative tourist and to have a participative tourist, a person must have an idea on that specific country before they go traveling. A visit to different places might result a change in attitude toward the country's people. And travel may also stimulate the sale and products in that destination that they're going into. So, to understand a traveler, it is very necessary to understand why visitors act the way they do and be a better person to participate and satisfy their needs and wants. Hi guys, I'm going to tell you what is the meaning of festival. A festival or commonly known as fiesta is a part of Filipino culture. Each city or province has a local fiesta. Being a very religious centered country, a fiesta is commonly about the celebration of a city or province's patron saint or of harvest. There is a fiesta going on at, at any time in Philippines. Sample of the festival attraction in the Philippines. Fias Festival. The Filipinos are known for their high spirit, fun, loving nature, and stunning creativity. Among the many festivals, the Fias Festival is held in Lokban in admiration of San Isidro Labrador. The festival is well celebrated with full zest and enthusiasm. The houses are decorated with vegetables, colorful fruits, handicrafts, and keeping which is decoration with rice flour. The reason for this festival became famous is when farmers offered their harvest at the base of Mount Banana to honor their Lord. And also, the festival attraction is Panagbega Festival, which translates to the Blooming Flowers Festival. It's a yearly flower event that takes you place in a baggy city, bringing together locals and tourists from all over the world. The use of the word Panagbenga is reflective of the blend of cultural influences from Malaysia and other Southeast Asian countries. 
The word translates to the season of bloom. The popular festival is scheduled for February and is held to celebrate the abundance of flowers in the city. So, what is the challenges or problem in festival? The economic benefits of festival are easiest to see the most often cited festivals attract visitors which stimulates the growth of tourism and other businesses in town or region. The benefits are still similar to those for tourism in general according to Ingrid Schneider. Tourism has the opportunity to, to bring communities together and steals a sense of community pride and knowledge of their history. But hosting festival are also possess challenges. They are risk and cost related to the effort. A star performer might not show, but may not show up, or the stage might collapse. Insurance can cover financial risk, but reputational damage is harder to address. These are the disadvantages. Some disadvantages of festival. It may create uh, traffic, cause of delay, street are spoiled, crowded, budget, food tight, and also time consuming. The festival should cover strategic planning, site management, budgeting, financial planning, marketing and sponsorship, human resource management, volunteer recruitment, and event evaluation. I highly recommend it to anyone looking to expand their base of knowledge, creative thinking, and to implement fantastic festivals and events. Special interests. Special interests shows how tourism is disciplined and has a wide range when it comes to products and services to be offered to a tourist. And a tourist has a wide range of diverse motivation and this motivation may have a huge possibility to fluctuate between common to uncommon products. Popular to less popular or less known, national to international or even regional, living or dead, and many more. This emerging type of tourism has carved out a place for itself. Tourists enjoying special interests and tourism activities are expecting to learn more, enrich their awareness of the place which they intended to visit, and express themselves about their perception that is related to the place that they visited. Example of a special interest. First, is scuba diving. According to Oxford and Wikipedia, this sport of scuba diving is activity of swimming underwater using scuba gear. Scuba diving is a type of underwater diving whereby drivers use breathing equipment that is completely independent of a surface air supply. The name is scuba. An acronym for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus was coined by Christian J. Lambestrin in a patient submitted in 1952. Second is hiking, the activity of going for a long walk, especially in the country or woods. Hiking is a long, vigorous walk, usually on trails or footpaths in the countryside. Walking for pleasure developed in Europe during the 18th century. Religious pilgrimages have existed much longer but they involve walking long distances for spiritual purposes associated with a specific religion. Last example of a special interest is snorkeling. It's the practice of swimming on through a body of water while equipped with a diving mask. A shape breathing tube called a snorkel and usually swim fins. Snorkeling is a popular recreational activity, particularly at tropical resort locations. What are the things that I listed?
or possible challenges and problems that might face by this attraction which is special interest. For this attraction, I will say three possible problems and challenges that may face by this attraction. First on the list is the security of the attraction, especially for those activities that needs an open area to operate. Second is financial problem when it comes to the facilities and equipments that needed by a specific activities. Third is the unexpected accident caused by the facility of the place. Special Interest Solution Traveling with the primary motivation of practicing or enjoying the special interest. First come to mind when we talk about the special interest, it all comes to habits and activities that we need to secure our safety needs as well as we all know it is an adventure or an outdoor activity that needed an equipment that is durable and secure while we're using it because the, per the priority of the customers are their sa safety needs. That's why we need to invest on the equipment that can be used properly and very durable into their particular activities and lastly, the people like security, medics, and people in the activity area that know, how, that know how to handle the specific activities should be ready in the place in case of any accidents. For today's video, I'm going to discuss some events and conferences. First of all is, within the hospitality and tourism industry, there is an important segment that focuses on conference and events. This is a sector that includes meetings, expos, gatherings, and special events. For example, let's imagine you are the event and conference manager at a large hotel that has facilities to handle functions for up 10,000 people. You cater to corporations that hold meetings, trainings, and conferences for employees and professionals. You also offer ex extensive options to individuals and groups that host one-time events and personal celebrations like retirement, parties, reunions, and weddings, or, or other special events and small gatherings. Example of this is the three categories. Number one is private, number two is corporate, and number three is charity. The variety of conferences and events is unique and will vary to meet the needs of the organization or group wanting to hold a gathering. One of the challenges in this sector is being flexible to the individual needs of each of each party and offering appropriate solutions. As a manager, you focus on supporting each group and exceeding their expectations. This requires effective problem solving and thinking out of the box. Meetings, conferences, events, and exhibitions are important drivers of tourism in many countries. They create nearly $1 trillion in direct, indirect and induced spending in the United States. The event sector in Europe is steadily expanding it is booming throughout Asia. As a result, tourist places all over the world are discovering the importance of events in attracting visitors. They risk losing out if they don't have them. And the last one is, however, events are beneficial to more than just tourism. Live Nation has risen to the top of the music industry. Live Nation, which is a revenue of over $8.5 billion controls a number of well-known companies including Ticketmaster as well as some of the world's more, most popular festivals. Events and conference in tourism here in the Philippines. First one is the Asia-Pacific Gold Challenge. Asia-Pacific Gold Challenge happened in Manila in 2020, the tournament is showcased the best golf courses around the city, including the prestigious Manila Golf and the Country Club, for its 100 participants. The event guarantees a week filled with entertainment, competitive golf, and more fun in the Philippines. Second one, the Philippine International Dive Expo, FedEx 2019. The Philippine International Dive Expo is the Department of Tourism led expo with the participants of dive travels and trade stakeholders, 
equipment manufacturers and national tourism organization. FedEx aims to gather distinguished VIPs, leaders, and influencers across the globe, such as renowned scientists, marine conservationists, and underwater photographers, videographers to meet, network, sh share stories, and exchange ideas. Third one, the Philippine Travel Exchange or FITEX 2019. FITEX is the country's annual leading marketing event aimed at strengthening the country's brands and image and encouraging the participants to promote affordable and competitive tourism packages. The business-to-business -business sessions in one-on-one -on -one tabletop scheduled appointments between the invited foreign opportunity to experience the fun and excitement of the multitude of activities during the post tours key Philippines attractions and destinations. And lastly, the MiceCon 2016. This conference features plenary sessions on the global trends on the travel and tourism, marketing, leadership, innovations, technology, as well as industry-specific workshops on conventions and association management, incentive travel exhibitions, and events management marketing. The lack of proper content strategy is one of the biggest challenges for virtual events and conferences. With a short attention span and day-to-day -day distractions, it is crucial to keep the strategy up to speed. To keep the participant engaged, the content has to fit with the daily plans of the attendees. Many event managers are afraid that they or their customers and attendees will have issues with their level of technical skills to, keep, to get the full event experience online. And the last one is the solution about the lack of proper um, content and strategy. Now that we have done of the drill or virtual events for a year, for a year, there is still a lot of uncertainty, barriers, and possible restrictions. This uncertainty leads the reasoning of event managers to continue with the virtual hybrid or events. Rather than challenges still remain for 2022, within the following, we will examine more in detail the five main challenges for virtual events. The number one of that is, as always, to keep the event simplistic and bulletproof. Don't ever complicate the event and create more risk that you are not able to handle. It is even more important to have the right partners who are able to give you the expert techni technical support you or your participant might be lacking. Um, if the support system from your event platform is efficient, relevant, and fast, the foundation of creating overall success is already in place. The most important of that is create more engagement. The challenges to get the participant engaging is still relevant today. More so after doing virtual events and already for a year, the attendees are starting to experience online fatigue. Too many options are not first for, um, first full functions create too much noise around the event. The focus should be on using the engagement tools based on the needs and interests of the participants. Features like live polls, Q&A, and chats are becoming standard and can be used more personally without within the content to provide the similar experience on on-site events. The last one is, um, and clear goals and benefits will not um, only help to convince but also get you forward in content strategy and marketing. Plan career and dedications to make, measure the success of your event. For example, track audience growth and engagement, leads, and etc. And use the result to improve your next event. Sometimes a well-organized event can be only solution to boost the morale of your company. Um, the, the two um, humans of that is partners and audience. With the stunning archipelago of 7,641 islands in Asia Pacific, Philippines is a place where events and conference are perfectly mixed together. It is the ideal destination for your next meeting, incentive, conference, exhibition, and special events. Whether your group is a small or a big group, the Philippines will always deliver you a safe and exceptional experience for you and your guests. Operating with the highest standard in the industry, you will have the support that you need for you 
to reach your target market, to pamper your clients, reward your employees, increase awareness of your brand, and even maximizing the event's impact. Many may not know how tourism can be vital when it comes to building our nation and its significant in improving the life of every Filipino. Binubuo ng mahigit pitong libong pulo Yan ang bayan ko Kayo manggi ang kulay namin Likas na masayahin at san Tourism has enabled our people, communities, and all other stakeholders to see and realize the full potential of tourism industry. Tourism is the country's treasure and every person can earn a living from it. We know more. We are putting together new events, adventures, and experiences for you, our travelers, to try. Tourism is making sites better for everyone to see, making new dishes for you to taste, and perform new cultural discovery for you to feel. Philippine tourism represents the Philippines and its culture. As a Filipino, we are very proud that we have that innate capacity to be working and learning in the tourism industry. Ding, ding.